Hello everyone. Welcome back to today's topic of the day. Today we'll be talking about Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework. Now at the UN Biodiversity Conference COP15, the Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework was adopted which is being hailed as the Paris Agreement for Nature. Now let's see the objectives. The Convention on Biological Diversity has three main goals: the conservation of biodiversity, the sustainable use of its components, and the fair and equitable sharing of benefits arising from genetic resources. The convention was opened for signature at the Earth Summit in Rio de Janeiro on 5th of June 1992 and entered into force on 29th of December 1993. The United States is the only UN member state which has not ratified the convention. Convention's strategic plan for biodiversity 2011 to 2020, created in 2010, include the IG biodiversity targets. Now it has two supplementary agreements. the cartagena protocol and the nagoya protocol the cartagena protocol on biosafety seeks to protect biological diversity from the potential risk posed by genetically modified organisms resulting from modern biotechnology on the other hand nagoya protocol aims for the fair and equitable sharing of benefits arising out of the utilization of genetic resources Now the meeting of the parties to the convention are known as the conferences of the parties that is the cop the conference of the parties is the governing body of the convention the first one cop 1 was held in nassau bahamas in 1994 and the most recent one cop 15 in 2021 22 in kunming china and montreal canada the 15th meeting of the conference of the parties cop 15 was held in two phases in Kunming China and Montreal Canada phase 1 took place virtually in October 2021 and phase 2 took place in Montreal Canada from 7th to 19th of December 2022 now let's see the outcomes of cop 15 cop 15 adopted a comprehensive package of the following items Kunming Montreal global biodiversity framework gbf mechanisms for planning monitoring reporting and review resource mobilization and digital sequence information on genetic resources now let's discuss all the outcomes in brief the kunming montreal global biodiversity framework was adopted by cop 15 to the convention on biological diversity on 19th of december 2022 its tentative title has been the post 2020 global biodiversity framework it has been promoted as a paris agreement for nature the gbf contains four global goals and 23 targets target 3 is especially referred to as the 3030 target now let's see what is 30 by 30 target under it delegates committed to protecting 30% of the land and 30% of coastal and marine areas by 2030 fulfilling the deal's highest profile goal known as 30 by 30 the deal also aspires to restore 30% of degraded lands and waters throughout the decade up from an earlier aim of 20% further also the world will strive to prevent destroying intact landscapes and areas with a lot of species bringing those losses close to zero by 2030 resource mobilization signatories aim to ensure dollar 200 billion per year in channeled to conservation initiatives from public and private sources wealthier countries should contribute at least 20 billion of this every year by 2025 and at least dollar 30 billion a year by 2030 now about mechanism for planning monitoring reporting and review large companies and financial institutions will have to make disclosures regarding their operations supply chains and port folios this reporting is intended to progressively promote biodiversity reduce the risk posed to the business by the natural world and encourage sustainable production and the last that is the reduction of harmful subsidies countries committed to identify subsidies that deplete biodiversity by 2025 and then eliminate phase out or reform them they agreed to slash those initiatives by at least dollar 500 billion a year by 2030 and increase initiatives 
elements that are positive for conservation now that was little bit about the topic now let's take a practice question consider the following statements regarding kunming montreal global biodiversity framework statement 1 under it members committed to protecting 30% of land and 30% of coastal and marine areas by 2030 statement 2 the deal also aspires to restore 30% of degraded lands and waters throughout the decade up from an earlier aim of 20% now which of the statements given above are correct you may take a moment and give your answer in the comment section below now the correct answer is c that is both the statement 1 and 2 are correct i hope you liked the video and found the information useful you may also check out our daily current affairs section on our website and for more such videos stay tuned to the next is youtube channel